Hi, I'm Claire and today as part of Create to Relate with Ditchley Museum of Art and Craft I'm going to be making some salt dough with a really simple recipe for a dough that you can sculpt and make all sorts of things out of. The ingredients you need to make salt dough are plain flour, salt and water and that's it. And then you need a bowl and a spoon so you can mix it all together and a board, preferably a wooden board, to roll out your dough and to knead it on. And to decorate whatever you make, you can either use paint and just wait till your dough has dried and then paint on top. Or you could use food colouring and put a few dribbles in when you're at the mixing stage and then that colours your whole dough the same colour. I've made a bunch of these weird little smiley faces out of salt dough. And I coloured them blue, you can see they're a little bit tinted. I just put a few drops of blue food colouring in when I was mixing. If you wanted them to be a bit brighter, you could put more food colouring in. And with salt dough, you can either bake it in the oven to make it set on a low heat for at least a couple of hours. Or these ones, I just left them out to air dry and it took a couple of days. There's a cat. But now they are completely dry and solid. So first of all, I'll show you how to make the dough. I've measured these out, so I've got a quarter of a cup of salt, that goes in, half a cup of plain flour, and a quarter of a cup of water. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water at a time, mix it in. So if you want to add food colouring, this is the time to do it. And then when it starts to come together in one big ball, you can take the spoon out and start mixing with your hands. So I'm just going to bring it all together into one ball. Get rid of the bowl. And then it's important to knead your dough. So I've got a wooden board here and I'm just going to making a camera shake. <laughs> I'm just going to knead it, push it around, squidge it. You can do it in your hands as well. And when you've done this for a few minutes, bang it together in your hands and you should have a nice springy dough that you can play with. Um, and so I used a quarter of a cup of salt, a quarter of a cup of water and a half a cup of plain flour. But you could double the quantities if you wanted more dough, triple it, you know, however much you want. So now I'll show you some ideas of some things that you can make with your dough. I'll start with showing you how I made my weird faces. So the dough is quite pliable. You can pull bits off, stretch it and then you can squish it back together and it should go back into one lump. So to make my funny faces, I took a little bit off, rolled it in my hands into a ball. So I think it's quite fun to experiment with different textures and making different holes and different shapes in the dough. For making the holes in that one, I've used a cocktail stick. You could use the end of your paintbrush or pencils or you could get some of your cutlery out of the cutlery drawer, forks and spoons and things. So to start with, when I've got my ball, I squashed it so that it's a big round shape. And then I wanted to make some eye holes so I used my finger to squidge down and leave a space in between so you've got the nose. A useful tip, it's quite handy to have some water nearby and then if it starts to get a bit cracked or wrinkly around the edges you can just dip your finger in and smooth it back down again. So next I wanted to add some eyeballs. I took a tiny little piece and rolled it up. Try and make them more or less the same size. And then Place them where you want them to go and give them some eyes, looking sideways. 
Might need to press them down a bit to make sure they're stuck. And then I'm going to give them some nostrils. There you go. And I'm going to make a big smile. So this time I'm going to make a sausage. And then put a big smiley face along the bottom. Maybe give him some teeth all the way around. And I'm going to do some ears. So if I just squidge one finger there and one finger there. Give him some fun eyebrows. Some hair. <laughs> and now I'll just leave them on the edge to dry. I make this one an animal, I think. I'm just playing around and making it up as I go along. Okay, so another project you could try is I've made a photo frame. So I made it out of my blue dough and then I've decorated it with paint. And then it's ready to stick a photo behind. So I've got this postcard with some boats on that someone gave me. Pop it behind there, you can stick it to your fridge, put it that way up. So I'll show you how to make that. I took quite a big bit of dough this time and I'm going to roll it out. First I started between my hands and I'm going to make a big long sausage. So gently push the dough backwards and forwards, putting your hands out towards the edges and it will slowly stretch into a big long sausage. Try and keep it nice and even thickness all the way along. And then when you've done that, you can arrange your dough into the shape that you want your frame to be. And just pinch off any excess. So I'm trying a love heart. And once I'm happy with where it's positioned, I'm just gonna press with my finger gently all the way around to flatten it. And then to decorate you can use all sorts of textures again. So I'm going to use my cocktail stick or whatever tools you've got there. And salt dough is really good for sticking things in as well. You could try pressing some shells or some nice things you found outside, pretty coloured beads and pebbles into the dough and then leaving them there as part of the decoration. So when the dough dries they'll be stuck. So I'll leave this now exactly where it is and let it dry for a couple of days and when it starts to feel solid so you can tap it and it makes a noise you can paint it whatever colours you like. If you've got any dough left over you can wrap it in cling film and pop it in the fridge and that will last a few days so you don't have to use it all at once. Some other things I've made are some little dishes that you can paint those and put some little bits and bobs keep them in there. You could make beads. So these are some circles that I rolled in the palm of my hand. And then I took my cocktail stick, pushed it all the way through to make a hole. And then once that's dry, you could thread them onto string or ribbon and make some jewelry. But my favorite thing is still to make weird, funny licking faces. I hope you have some fun playing with salt dough. Here's some of my creatures. You can use the hashtag create to relate to share your creations. And if you'd like to make a donation to help support the museum, you can do that on the website. Thank you. Bye.